For this example, we'll advertise on behalf of MNL Supply Co. and promote a new fall line of backpacks. To get started, you don't actually have to be an ads manager. Simply go to the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and select Create Ad. From here, select the campaign objectives which correspond to bid types and may determine the type of formats you utilize. Campaigns are the highest level of organization within an ad account and can be used to organize budgets, product lines, or seasonal initiatives. If this is your first time in Ads Manager, you will need to select a country. This is necessary for tax reasons and determines the currency in which you'll be built. For this demonstration, we'll set up a traffic campaign. Select Create New Traffic Campaign and name your campaign. Here, you have the option to specify a daily or lifetime spend limit. This number simply serves as a max spend for this campaign across all of the ad groups within it. We don't pace against this number. As soon as it's hit, we'll stop serving ads from this campaign. This is an optional cap. We recommend it only if you have very strict budget parameters. You can also specify campaign placement or where you want your pins to serve. We recommend targeting all placements as this is reflective of the user behavior on Pinterest, but you do have the option to target just browse, which includes home feed and related pins, or search, which includes delivery and search results and related pins. It's important to know that you won't be able to change campaign placement once the campaign has been created. If you have selected the traffic objective, you can opt into one-tap ads, which is an ad format that helps drive pinners directly to your site. When you're done, select Create Campaign and Continue to go on to the next step. This will create the campaign. You can always go back to edit it if you need. On this page, you fill out all of your ad group details. An ad group is a way to organize pins with the same targeting details. At the ad group, you're specifying targeting, start and end dates, budgets, and bids. Use a naming convention that reflects the targeting that you plan to use. This is helpful for optimizations and reporting purposes. If you leave the end date open, we automatically default to a daily budget to determine how much to spend each day. If you specify an end date, you can choose from a daily or a lifetime budget. In either instance, we'll use this number to pace. If you have strict end dates, one benefit to using lifetime budgets is that our system will look at the remaining budget over the remaining number of days and account for any previous under or over delivery. Select any relevant audiences, including visitor retargeting audiences, which allows you to reach people who have visited your site, customer list audiences, which you can create by uploading a list of email addresses or MAIDs of people who have signed up for more information or purchased from you in the past, engage your audiences, which enables you to reach more people who have engaged with your content on Pinterest, or actalikes, which allow you to target people who act similarly to people from an existing seed audience. You can create these audiences in the audience manager at ads.pinterest.com audiences. In Audience Manager, you can create and edit your audience. Once your audience has been created, you can also see the size of your audience on Pinterest. Keep in mind, it can take up to one business day for the audiences to be created. With interest targeting powered by the taste graph, partners can target groups of pinners based on their unique preferences across thousands of choices. You can choose from over 6,000 interests, reaching people in a truly relevant way as they browse Pinterest. We see over 2 billion searches on Pinterest each month. Targeting keywords helps you reach people as they search for specific things. Keep in mind, ad relevance is a huge component of how ads are entered into the auction, so we really recommend curating relevant keyword lists to target. Keyword stuffing is not recommended, as that will negatively impact your performance in the auction. You can also specify whether you want expanded targeting. By selecting this option, we will automatically serve the pin based off of the content of the pin itself, looking at the image and description. This is a great way to increase coverage in search. You can also set additional parameters such as location, language, devices, and gender. 
As you fill out your targeting parameters, you can see your max audience size on the right-hand side. Keep in mind, this is not the number of people we expect you to reach with your ad group details, but instead, this number will reflect the total number of people on Pinterest that fall within your targeting parameters over a 30-day period. We pre-populate a strong bid based on the bid guidance. Bid guidance reflects how much other advertisers are willing to pay based on your targeting parameters. It's a good idea to start with a strong bid, as this can help get a jump start on delivery and get signals on performance more quickly. You can walk your bid down from there. Once you've completed your ad group details, select Pick a Pin to go to the next stage. The Pick a Pin page defaults to all pins eligible for promotion. These are pins that are on any of your public or protected boards. Keep in mind, you can only promote pins from your boards. You can sort by most clicked or saved in the last 30 days. Or, if you know exactly which pin you want to promote, you can search by the keyword or pin URL in the top right. Select your pin. It's a good idea to name your pin and use a naming convention that makes sense for reporting or optimization purposes. Here, you can also update the destination URL. This is a good option if you want to track your promoted pin separately from your organic pin. When you're done, you'll see a summary of your campaign and ad group on the right. If everything looks good, select Promote Pin, and we'll send the pin to Ad Review. If this is the first time creating a pin and you are using a credit card, you may be prompted to fill out billing information. Adding new pins to existing campaigns. To create a new pin, simply select the plus sign on the top right and choose Create an Ad. On the Campaign Details page, you can select an existing campaign. From there, you can select an existing ad group or create a new ad group. If you select an existing ad group, you won't have to fill in the targeting details again.